Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Shafiq And uh, we are making a uh, Drop the accent please We are making a video On the pizzas That we can eat around this region Of mostly northern Jakarta And we have our chauffeur here Haritz Who hey. will not be eating the pizzas Because we pay him and Prana, who is just here to look at the map and shut up. Hey! Navigator. He's a navigator. I'm not a navigator. Please introduce yourself, Haritz. My name is Haritz. I am the chauffeur for Monsieur Shafik. I am from France. And today we are going to taste the best pizzas in North Jakarta. Monsieur Love. Prana, introduce yourself. My name is Prana and I'm the navigator of the ship. It's and not a ship. I know. <laughs> Just roll with I it. I am your captain. I am your captain of the USS Enterprise. The first restaurant that we will be visiting today is uh, Pizza Hut. Yes? We, Pizza we, Hut? Yes. We, we, we will be. We, we are will going be... to the Pizza Hut near Sunter Point. <laughs> we are going to go to the PH, uh, uh, PH, PH Pizza Hut in Sunter. I think we are going to enjoy our great time there. Yes. <laughs> it's very, uh, very distressful because I am driving for about one mile already and to turn it takes two miles. <laughs> it takes two miles just along this river and I'm very much wasting the gasoline. We have passed two pizza huts on the way to the one behind us. This is the oh, oh, Domino's. Oh, well that's convenient. Now we get to Domino's dulu. Okay, 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 okay. Where is my wallet? This is my, this is my wallet. What are you looking for? I am looking for my wallet and for my pen so we can write the review down. Come on, let's go, Monsieur and Madame. Do we really need to? English. Uh, I do not think that's trust your hearts, but it, it doesn't have all on the, the other pizza area. Isn't that? Uh, Domino's don't have stuff cars, Marzano no, of course not. So I believe we can just go pan, take it on it. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, take it. Okay. The price is sometimes 111. We are going to split bill. We? We. No, I pay So we here have the uh, pan regular on pizza, this is a pepperoni topping. As you can see, there's the sauce, cheese and pepperoni. Very simple ingredient, but it's very popular among all the customers of pizza. Right now, it's very hot right now, especially the pan. If you touch this, I think your hand will be black immediately. That's racist. What do you mean racist? It's burned. Oh, fine, not black, red or something. Is that still racist? Uh, compared to most pizzas I've seen that are generally... Put it on your plate, uh, my man! Cheese, 
Speak louder! Ooh, the, the cheese doesn't seem to be alive. Dang. Oh, but it does that, eh? Right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We, 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 we. This is very appetizing. I'm very hungry. I haven't had breakfast. I only ate the M&M's of Sharon's uh, ice cream. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> now I am going to uh, to take this pizza. It's very hot. Why do you not use your knife and fork? I don't like it. You don't like knife and fork? Very well, very well. Everybody has his, his own taste. But if it's this hot, I think it's better to use knife and fork. For me, I usually split the crust first. Because if it's not soft crust or cheesy bites, I don't like it. No, I do, I do like it, but it has nothing. It has little taste. <clears throat> the crust is crispy, very fresh, very good. You can't be the only one who keeps on speaking. Let me speak. Louder! What am I gonna say? Wait. Panas. You can cut. Oh, look at Pana. Oh, he's enjoying the pizza. No, oh, no, 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 no. This pizza. <laughs> this pizza is okay. Idiot. Okay, so we have finished the pan pizza. Prana, how, how do you feel? It was good. It was good. good. It was it really was good. good. It was good. It was good. Any, any other comment? Uh, the place was nice. The place was nice? Yeah. Any other things? No, I, feel, I don't think so. Uh, the camera's too close. Oh, yeah. So, sorry, sorry. sorry. Pardon, moi, pardon. Next to Shafiq. Ah, oh, he seems to have a full stomach, eh? Ah, oh, mon, monsieur, monsieur. Yes. How was the food? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. The dish, this is just what I need. This is just what I need to be so, so delicious. Amazing. Let's get back to the car. Yes, so me and my my gang, we have just uh, we have just exited from Pizza Hut and in the car. And me personally, from the meal, the service, and the atmosphere in Pizza Hut, it is 100% okay. It is not very amazing or exceptional. The taste is decent. It is not bad, but I would not really go back there. Next is the, uh, the time. Uh, me and my group, we waited for at least 20 minutes, 20-ish yep. minutes, which is very tolerable. It's not fast and it's not slow. It is good service in my humblest opinion. As for the price, which is very moderately ranged, we ordered a medium-sized pizza, which amounted to 100K that we split among the three of us which is decent, it's around, you can say, uh, three, uh, three, we paid each 40k, since we also did order drinks. So it's 50. 50, something to that range. Okay. Uh, so for the taste, how much would you give out of, from one to 10? Six, six. or maybe 6.5. 6.5. And for the place, the uh, the outdoor, the design, the cleanliness, the atmosphere, the atmosphere, uh, five, five point five, five point five. And for the time taken, it was twenty minutes at morning, where there wasn't anybody around. Well, there was a little bit of people, but it's like almost to nobody. Yeah, I personally never usually think about the time and just kind of sit there up until it gets to the thirty minute range when it starts to get very noticeable. So, me personally, even though it was not crowded and it took 20 minutes, I would give this 7. 7. 
and for the price it was 111 thousand rupiah i'll give it an eight an eight okay thank you very much Cut. so pizza hut for me wasn't that very bad actually for shafiq it was okay for me it was moderately good it wasn't uh, as okay it wasn't average i liked it very much Pizza Hut has been a very uh, popular pizza place in Indonesia and me personally, I have eaten more Pizza Hut than any other pizza chains. For me, I think the, the crust was very crispy, the cheese was very very cheesy and the meat was actually crispy. The pepperoni, it was crispy, it was a joy in the mouth. For taste, I will give it, I will give it a 7. I will give it a 7. It is. It is very fresh and since we ate it there at dine-in, it felt very uh, warm at first, but it actually didn't burn my mouth. And then what's next? The place, the place, the place, the place is very good. The place is how uh, you would want to design a pizza place. Why? Because not only it had for the mix and match for the ice cream, it also had uh, a very uh, decorative uh, accent on it. Which, which I will give it a 7 as well. It was hot though. It was hot, but I am already quite 10, so I can hold hot. <laughs> and for the time, I actually want to question a bit, because 20 minutes in a morning, where there are not many people and not many deliveries, I think it should, have, it should, have, should not have been exceeding 20 minutes. So I will give this a 5. Next is the price. The price, because I paid for this, this is not overpriced, but I'm still uh, a bit annoyed that I have to pay, but it's okay. I still get paid again. I will give it a 6. Okay. So, Pizza Hut, um, it was good. It was good. Um, the pizza is good, and it's not just good, but it's also delicious, and it's enough for what you get. It's worth it. It's worth it, you know? It's... It's what you paid for. You you paid for for what it is. So for me, it's eyes up here, eyes up here. Thank you. Uh, and the taste is also very satisfying. And also, it's in the morning. And also, I haven't eaten, so that's I think the reason why um, it tastes very good. So for the taste, um, I would probably give it. An eight. Also, because I gave an eight because I was hungry. So, okay. Uh, the next thing was the place, and oh yeah, one thing about the place is that it was very comfortable for for what it is. Um, yeah, it it is kind of hot in there, but I could tolerate it. It's not that. It's not like like screeching hot, so it's not that bad. Um, I would give it a 7. Um, what was the next thing? Next is the time. Oh, the time. Uh, the time was about, what, 20 minutes? And for me, 20 minutes is enough. You know, it's not that, it's not that much. It's not too little. It's enough time because considering it's a pizza place and I've seen many people's took a long time to make pizza and myself and I, myself included uh, have seen the process of making pizza so I could see where the 20 minutes is going to so I would give it a seven seven and lastly about the price um, I would say that the price for I, I think what 50 per person yeah it was enough it was it was enough you know, so it's not, it's not too expensive. It's not too cheap. It's enough. So for me, it's a win-win. Which is the score? C'est bon. Oh yeah, for the price, uh, I would give it a seven, seven, seven and a half. And seven point five. Yep. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Sekarang kita Domino's. Uh, we are back again 
And right now we are on the way to Domino's. Ah. So this this is actually my favorite place for pizza. Because Domino's has its tin crust, but I do not think we are going to taste the tin crust there because it is not sand there. Uh, I think we're going to use the what is it called? The the pan. The pan, right? The pan. The pan. But, but for me, just to add in some information, FYI, I very much prefer the thin crust in Domino's. It is crispy, it is balanced, and the topping is actually not undermined by the thin crust. Domino's does not have a stuffed crust like uh, Pizza Hut? Yeah, but the uh, stuffed crust is actually not my big favorite in Pizza Hut. I prefer cheesy bites for Pizza Hut. So you do have high hopes for Domino's? I do have high hopes for Well, not really, because it's we are not ordering my favorite. I'm going to rate it low. <laughs> so we have arrived here at Domino's and today we're going to review the pizza and now we are going to bring you to our plug Domino's Pizza in this place that I don't know the name of. To me personally Domino's Pizza is my favorite so I have very much high hopes. This is the best thing. If you this has three cheese, what? It's the not right in the mouth. It's the last one. You can look at this, it has more pepperoni than compared to the pizza hut. And the cheese, it looks very yellow compared to the pizza hut, which is more mixed with the sauce. This is good. How much this cheese for? Mm. Ooh, pants on. Oh, 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 If there is anything better than this, I need to know because I have found it. What do you think, man? He's really enjoying the cheese, huh? <laughs> After returning from Domino's, I must say uh, earlier in Pizza Hut, uh, I couldn't say much about the taste because it simply wasn't very uh, notable. It simply tasted like pizza and I couldn't tell anything else. But when I ate at Domino's, I could taste the tomato sauce and the cheese. It was very, it blended well together. The sauce was delicious and we ordered specifically the thin crust and that may have played a factor in it but nevertheless i would say that domino's overall has the best flavor so far i would give it a 8.75
as for the place which is simply just a, a very simple a ruko style joint I would give it a simple 6 there's not much difference but it was very air conditioned it was very cold I, I like that and the time which was uh, a measly 10, 10 or so minutes which was very fast but considering that we ordered the thin crust maybe that was the biggest factor that played in it but also considering that Pizza Hut was uh, not crowded yet it took around 20-ish minutes I must say that Domino's it really impressed me which I would give it a 9 and for the price which is we ordered a medium sized pepperoni pizza and that we received around 6 slices I believe yes. Something. and six slices and arguably the portion was decent for its price which was around 80. 60 oh, no, no, 80. 80 80 80k so I would say that it's um, 8.2 I would give done we have finished eating at uh, Domino's Pizza for me, it was by far the best because we have only tried two and this is, for me personally, this is quite biased but this is far, far, far much better compared to Pizza Hut. It doesn't say that Pizza Hut is bad. No, I love Pizza Hut but Domino's, for me, always in my heart. For taste, this is straight 9, 9.5. Uh, there are some little bit details that I could change but this is already good enough. 9.5 is very good. So next is what? the place. The place. The place is actually very nice, although it's quite uh, small. It only tells that Domino's are more suitable, more created, more specialized for delivery. For uh, place, I will give a six point. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, set, set, uh, set uh, on English. Ah, uh, seven, seven. And next is the time. The time. We didn't count the. We didn't it count was, the time. Uh, it was like 10 minutes. It was 10 minutes. It was 10 minutes? Yeah. Really? Right. No, 15? No. 10? 10. Oh, 10 minutes. Yeah. Actually, that, that's straight 9. Uh, it wasn't crowded though, but uh, considering Pizza Hut wasn't crowded either, and assuming they have... And this is a thin, thin crust, I see. Yeah. So it takes less time to make. Yeah. So 10 minutes for me is already a 9. I'm, I think I'm giving too much bias to Domino's, but I don't <laughs> no, care. No, no, no. I, I, I love agree, Domino's. I agree, I agree. And next? Price? Price? Very good. Wait, it was very good. very good. I'll give it an 8.5. Ah. Round 2, 3. Allez. Alright, so back from Domino and it was okay. At, it was, for me, for me anyway, uh, it's my opinion, but it, for me, it's okay. Um... The place was quite small and, you know, it's a delivery, so what can you expect? So, the taste of the pizza, and again, for fairness, we ordered the same thing, which is a pepperoni pizza. So, so that way, you know, we have the same thing over the table. So, and also we ordered with the thin crust, so I think that would probably change a little bit, but not to a, a degree. To a degree, so I, I, I would say the taste was pretty good. You know, it, it's not that much different that than to that of the Pizza Hut, but there is a difference. You can tell that it was different from the sauce, from the cheese, and even to the pepperoni. There was a difference in the sauce and the other uh, the other parts of the pizza. So I would eyes up here. Thank you. Um, I would give the taste a seven and a half, seven point five. You rated Domino's lower than Pizza Hut. It's, it's yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm that, sorry, okay. but okay. And continue, please, please. please. <laughs> sorry, and for the what for the place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Place. Uh, the place it was quite small, and you know, I I understand because. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. Monsieur, Sorry. Play. I, I, okay. Uh, I 
I can I can understand because it was more of a focus to delivery than you know to actual dining in. So yeah, the place was quite small, but yeah, it was also when we got there it was empty, so I guess that was neat. So I would say the the place I would give it an no, don't don't do that. Uh I'll do eight was enough. I think eight was enough. Uh, and then the what was that? Time. The next line. The, the time. The time. Uh, we knew that it was around ten what, minutes, like ten minutes. Ten minutes. This, yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes. So, for me, for a quite a quiet place like this. So quiet there's place. no, it's not quiet, but not so crowded. Yeah. Um, One piece. <laughs> sorry. Uh, it was quite fast and considering the same level of oh, is up here of crowd in Pizza Hut and it took them 20 minutes 20 minutes um, it minutes. was quite it was quite a difference there's quite a difference in uh, uh, in service but overall I would give it a 9 for the time and finally for the what for the price, the price? we pay what like 80 80 80, 80 right um consider the other these other factors 80 <laughs> did you even pay <laughs> no. yeah you didn't even pay <laughs> I, I forgot okay i will pay i i, I will pay after okay, this. Okay. but um comparing it to pizza hut for what 100? it was 100 it was 100 110, 110. 110. For, right. so 100 for 3 people compared to domino's which is 70 for 3 people i feel like Domino's is much more worth it. So I would give it a 9.5. Ooh. It was good. So Daring. overall, I like it, but yeah, that's it. Good morning, Habibi, Ati, and Bukti. I am here with uh, Rona and Arif, and we are here today at um, uh, pizza Marsano and we are, order, we are ordering pizza uh, pepperoni pizza that we will be uh, comparing with uh, Pizza Hut and Domino uh, please introduce yourself I have high hopes for okay. this uh, yeah, we don't want to be done okay. if not my most favorite place this place has been held by my heart very dearly all right and so pizza marzano has been one of the most authentic pizza places in jakarta and it's, it has been my favorite place my opinions about this will be biased because of course i really love this place it has been in my heart and i hold it very dearly and i would say that from taste wise there is very little to correct 
like it is it's not perfect but it's very good like I have yet to taste any pizza better than this even though this is not my favorite pizza uh, with that we chose we chose an American my favorite is the margarita but this already I would give it an easy 9.8 just some little taste that not it I, I like it but it's not how I would prefer it to be so it's 9.8 for me and then for place this place is very similar to uh, Pizza Hut but unlike Pizza Hut you can see there that the lighting is very well it's like actually not poor so compared to Pizza Hut maybe we were a bit uh, a bit far away from the windows but this even though we're far away the lighting is still pretty good so it's quite bright I'm gonna give it a 9 the next is time we <coughs> waited around 15 minutes wasn't it yeah 15 yeah, 15 minutes which is pizza at 20 minutes and it came out fine hot this came out 15 minutes and came out warm which is already fine because we don't want it to be too hot and I would say that 15 minutes is already good enough. It's actually more than enough for me to uh, enjoy. So I would give it a 9 as well. And for the price, this is an absolute, well not an absolute, but I would uh, consider it some kind of a steal. Because this is cheaper, even though only 2,000 rupiah cheaper compared to Pizza Hut. But the taste, for me, it's so much better. It's a 9.5 for me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is uh, pizza marzana. Uh, uh, no, no, not this. Not this. Uh, this is, there used to be a pizza here, but we ate it. Uh, uh, it was, uh, in terms of this, uh, personally for me, uh, I actually like uh, Domino's pizzas more uh, potent acidic, acidic tomato sauce. I think it was much more potent and much more tasty. But, uh, in terms of the texture of the, uh, the cheese, uh, Pizza Marzano wins by a long far. And I would give the taste, I'd say 9.1. Next is the uh, place. And of course, the place is, uh, I'd say, it's actually relatively similar to a uh, local pizza hut. And I would still say that it's actually. Uh, quite decent but this place is of course much cleaner and much well relatively more high-end so I would give it a uh, 7.5 there, there aren't really any uh, exceptional looking places as for the uh, time it actually took really fast 50 and considering uh, if there are actually other people here and not like in Domino's where it was like empty uh, we took around 15 15 minutes and yeah. 15 minutes that is I think that's very impressive and I would give that the time I would give a 9 9 point uh, 9.8 I give the time a 9.8 as for the price here is what I'm really excited to tell you about the price for this pizza which was relatively big and it could be like three of us it costed only a hundred and nine thousand and if you remember back when we made the uh, Pizza Hut recording, a single uh, pepperoni pizza, pizza costed around 110. So when you compare that, I mean, Pizza Marzan is obviously much more high quality. Although the difference is not that a lot though. There's not a lot of difference I in the price. In, yeah, well yeah, but when you compare what you're getting, value for price, it's crazy. Yeah. So I would give the price actually 9.5 as well. Okay, so Marzano is like, this is like the last one, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the last one. So I'm not going to take it personally so that, you know, being the last is the best, but I would say I was surprised because I had high hopes and my expectations were fulfilled with this. I was, at first, before I eat it, I, I had the expectations like, ah, it's going to be like another, like the others, okay? I would I would ex expect that it would be going to be like the others, but no, it was far better. So for the taste, it's, for me, it's very authentic, you know, because 
the sauce is very good and the pepperoni is also pretty good so I will give it 9.7 uh, the place also is very comfortable and so that is one thing that to, to consider so I would give the place 9.5 um, the next one was what the time time was what 15, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. And considering the others have like what Pizza Hut was twenty and Domino's was what ten minutes? It was 15, 10 to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. So now I would compare this to Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut is a lot more quieter and this is a lot more crowded. And considering this took a lot a bit faster, I would give it a um, I would say nine point seven as well. And the last one is the price, and to me, although it's not that much difference to Pizza Hut, I would say that, yeah, for the price that it is, it's quite worth it, so 9.6. Hey, mention this, mention this. Oh yeah, right, um, the drink. I'm not going to rate this, but... Oh, you're not going to rate it. I'm sorry, because... It's not a part of this, okay? So, because this is out of... No, just comment on it. Okay. Comment. It's delicious. Um, it's delicious. It's delicious. This is... It's okay. called yeah. jasmine tea. Okay, okay, first... Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait. You can see the wait. tea inside of it. Hold there up. There is no tea. Wait. Hey, wait, you can, wait, wait, you can wait. see the tea. It tastes like tea, but this is just water with sugar, in my opinion. There's just a little bit of tea. Mm. Like, no, they don't... They don't listen. So for me, overall, I rated Pizza Marzano the highest, Domino's Pizza the second, and Pizza Hut the lowest. And I would say this, that I would personally say that this was a somewhat fair assessment because we did order the same thing and we did uh, eat all three dine-in. So with the price range that we mentioned, which was actually not that steep when you compare the three, uh, Pizza Hut was around 100k, Domino's Pizza also around 100k, and Pizza Marzano surprisingly also around only 100k. And when you also consider the time that was taken to make this, these pizzas respectively, uh, Pizza Marzano was very impressive. I must say and so all things considered I would say that Pizza Marzano takes the win by a big margin and well it is a very it is a more luxurious establishment for a pizza place when you compare the two because out of all the three Pizza Marzano is the only gourmet place and that only further makes it apparent how impressive that is because well actually when you compare that the thing is Domino's Pizza and Pizza Hut have they're on the same price range also with Pizza Marzano despite not being a gourmet place and also being slightly worse uh, I'd say that Pizza Marzano kind of just has really lame competition uh that's that aside uh i would say that all three are good places in their own regard except i guess pizza hut because pizza hut is just completely unremarkable but domino's pizza is very good pizza uh pizza marzano is uh excellent and that would be all for me thank you everyone for watching i hope that you would take my words into consideration so you can eat the best pizza in Jakarta. I think the best pizza in Jakarta. I'm not sure. Wait, so Pizza Hut, uh, the experience was good, but there's nothing a bit special to me anyway. So, um, spoiler alert, uh, Pizza Hut took the longest time for the pizza to came to us so that's kind of that's when the math doesn't uh, add up there so there's something to add because 
at the time, Pizza Hut was not there. There's not a lot of customers in there, so the staff does have a lot of time to prepare. But I think that's just what it is. So, and also there's nothing like the taste was good, but what it is, it's there's no authenticity to Pizza Hut. I mean, I could. I could forgive that because they do have to uh, to adjust to Indonesian taste, which is a bit different than Italians. So that's why they need to adjust it. So I think there's no authenticity in there. So that's my thoughts on pizza. So next up was Domino's, and Domino's place was a bit claustrophobic for me anyway. So that's my opinion. It's a bit claustrophobic, but the taste is a lot more authentic than pizza. It's, I'm not saying it's better. Well, it is, but it's a bit more authentic. And also, Domino's is almost good. It's it's quite good, actually. It's really good. Sorry. But actually, Domino's wins as far as the authenticity, but Pizza Hut, again, Pizza Hut wins as far as the the menus anyways but also because that doesn't count to it so never mind about that and the last one that took me by surprise is marzano because marzano is very authentic for me anyway so in my opinion the most authentic is marzano and the taste is perfect and it's not just that but like don't get me wrong uh these all of these pizzas do taste good like because we ordered the same thing just to be fair but they do have their own strong points they do have their weaknesses they do have their strength but in my opinion Marzano is better than the other competitors but it's the thing is that the other two competitors do have their own strengths and weaknesses so that's what makes them uh, as a equal to me anyway so they're all three of them are equal for in my opinion they're all equal because they have their strengths and their weaknesses so here's here's let me tell you something so if you want to look for authenticity go for Marzano but if you want for a let's say a quick you know a quick midnight snack not really midnight but like a late snack Domino's got you covered because Domino is more focused on delivery so because also you can see the place is quite claustrophobic for me anyway so that's why I think Domino's is more towards a uh, a delivery and Pizza Hut is somewhere in between you know so they're they're perfect for dining in, but they're also perfect for delivery. And that's what I mean. So they're all equal. So that's my opinion on the on my uh, food review, as I would call it. Hey everyone, so it's my time for a review. Let's start with Pizza Hut. For today, I gave it a 7. It was fine. It wasn't out of the ordinary. It was, uh, but not average. It's okay. It's good. But it's just that. It's just good. For the, uh, I don't have much to say because, well, the crust is thick as always. It's just, and the topping was good. It's, yeah, meh, not meh, it's good. For the place, it I gave it a seven because the lighting was too dim and the uh, space in between seats are a bit cramped. So I, I'd figure if it was crowded, it'd be hard to walk through back and forth, back and forth if I wanted to go to the toilet or go and record or something. Well, that's why I give it a 7. For the time, I give it a 5 because 20 minutes for an un not really crowded place, it's quite bad. Well, not that bad, but it's quite bad. And for the price, I gave it a 6 because it's a normal, it's fine pizza, but a price that's quite high. Moving on uh, to Domino's Pizza, I gave the taste 9.5 because it's quite biased, of course. But because the, the thin crust and the top and the toppings, they didn't really close each other. They were balanced and they fit in my mouth perfectly. And it was a very good experience for me. 
for the place i gave it a seven it wasn't anything out of the ordinary it was of course uh, more specialized for delivery hence why i didn't give it a six because it was well it's just for that it, it's not focused on dining in compared to pizza and marzano but it wasn't that bad it wasn't terrible and for time i even a nine because 15 minutes for a pizza like that for me it's very it's fine it's very good and for the price it was 80000 rupiah for a a very uh, for a very good pizza that's why i gave it an 8.5 not a 9 because the pizza is actually quite small so but 8.5 is already good you know 80000 rupiah and finally we go to marzano <clears throat> so the taste it was perfect i don't need uh, much to say i just don't want to give it a 100 uh, a 10 because uh, there were some uh, details i would prefer to be modified for the place it was a nine it was a very beautiful place <coughs> uh, the, the decorations was nice the garden were nice sorry and the lighting was very good it was well lit if, uh, compared to pizza Hut, it's more well lit than marzano for the time it was actually 10 minutes i would have given it a 10 but i actually i should have given it a 10 but i don't want to reach perfection on that because well then I guess, I guess I'd give 10 for 5 minutes but uh, because we already ordered something so 9 I think it's already enough and price 9.5 it was lower than Pizza Hut with a pizza that is much better than pizza in my opinion uh, this is Prana and Arts and Shafiq and thank you thank you for watching thank you